Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to do a video on the uh, mod for converting the uh, Radidity QT40 over to the CB band. And uh, this is a fairly simple modification and I just want to show you some points here uh, before we get started. Now, the first thing I'd like to show you is, I'll save you a lot of trouble here, do not remove the top cover. And they're bolted, are screwed here and here, and uh, there's two screws, one for the top cover and one for the bottom cover here. Okay, don't remove that. Okay, so what you want to do is flip the radio over to the speaker side, okay? and then you want to uh, lay this down and remove these screws there's two on each side like so and there's there's two like I showed you earlier there's two here you want to remove this top one which I haven't removed yet and uh, you want to be careful this is the side your speaker is on and you might want to remember that when getting ready to do this mod that the panel you need to take off is the one with the speaker in it. Now, when you lay your speaker, your cover, when you take your cover and lay lay it out or take off the cover, be cautious to where you don't jerk or strain the speaker wires. And if I remember right, uh, there's enough wires in there that you don't have to. So let's see if we can remove this cover. And it's real straightforward. You kind of pull back and it pops off and it looks like the speaker wire is on this side yes it is so and you can't you can unplug that I'm not going to there's enough wire here that you just lay it down side by side okay okay we're in the radio right now I'm kind of straining it just a little too but we're in the radio let me see if I can get there, there we go now nah, it's not so strange. All right. Okay. Once you get the cover off, what you want to look for is a little jumper. Now I want to give some cautions. You've got this is the jumper you want up here. It's in front of this IC with the heat sink. But you also over here in the corner have these two jumpers. Do not I repeat, do not change them or move them under any circumstance. Okay, this is the one you want to do. And I'll see if I can get us in just a little closer to that. Okay, this little jumper here, and it's in 10 meter mode. You want to pull it up, move it over to that. There's one little pin there. See it right there? You want to pull this up and put it down where the end of this jumper is on that pin and push it down and you're in CB mode. You've converted it to CB mode. Now, I'll try to demonstrate this as good as I can and uh, I'll be right back here in a, a second. Okay, these radials are software driven and most of the uh, circuitry in them is surface mount as is very common nowadays in fact that's certainly the norm for nowadays rather than the insertion so what I do is you know I recommend that you use a static band to ground yourself to the chassis of the radio so you don't risk blowing anything and I'll show you a cheap and easy way to do it if, if you'd like to see it I take a standard wristwatch like this it's got a middle band. You got to have a middle band on it, and I just take a set of uh, reg regular jumper leads, and I take one of them, and I just simply, I just clip it on the band. I just clip it on the band of the watch like that, okay? And I take the other one, and very carefully, I clip it on the chassis of the radio, just like that. So now I'm grounded, okay? Now, the actual modification is really pretty easy, and uh, we'll get to that here now in just a second. Let me get back to you. Okay, 
All right, I've got to reground myself here. Okay, this is the little jumper that you want to remove. And with your ground strap on, as you see here, simply grab the jumper and pull it up. You see it's completely off and move it down one notch towards the back of the radio and put it back on. And that's basically what I've done right there. So that's it. That's the modification from 10 meters uh, to 11 meter CB band. And all you have to do now, and I'll go through that process, is reassemble that process and uh, put the radio back together and uh, there's no really wrong way to do that if it's seated right you're you're in business okay what you always want to do even after doing a simple modification like this is check your work which I have done and I got a magnifier out off camera and look to be sure that the lags on this were you know that the the jumper was connecting and it was down and uh, which it is so uh, okay very carefully what you want to do is take this cover and you want to watch this is a plug-in you could remove this but I don't I don't want to get the plug loose unless I have to so very slowly and watching this wire be sure it don't get on that heat sink and just kind of slowly slowly bring your cover back over and uh, get it lined up and you want to set it down here up on the lip of this chrome cover and it's kind of sometimes that's the toughest part you kind of get it seated here real good and uh, there we go now something these are notorious for is if you don't get the bolts a little tight in here you don't definitely don't want to over tighten them this will pop up and you know and it'll be you know kind of be raised over the chrome so we don't want that because uh, you know we want everything to be pro on this so uh, we uh, kind of want to work with that and get everything back into position okay you kind of want to work this into position and I have I had to do it off camera it took a little bit of jostling but see this is all flush now and you don't definitely do not want to over tighten these I usually just run them down till they stop on something like this where you don't bend or damage anything but these have to have a little more than that but not much in order to keep this down and it's all locked in and everything now but uh, I always like to try to do work uh, to the point that they can't tell anybody was ever in it you know and you know I, I don't like to scratch the screw heads by over tightening or anything like that you know so it looks all stock all original untampered with so if it ever goes to service now in the beginning we don't tighten that real tight if it ever goes to service uh, to somebody else they're gonna wonder you know or they're not even gonna wonder they're not even uh, you know they're not even gonna say there's everybody anybody ever been in it you know nobody's ever touched it that they're the first ones to touch it to do some kind of service on it or something let me kind of run this one in but not tight not tight yet okay you take this over here and uh, no trick to it it's all straightforward but uh, you run your uh, screws in Sn uh, not snug yet just run them almost all the way down is the term I'll use at this point run this one in and uh, thank goodness for magnetic screwdrivers because I didn't feel like much like uh, threading these in with my fingers not at this age I have my senior moments okay now those are still loose to the fit now here's why I've done that I'm going to take this here and this is the rear screw that I told you about okay and what you want to do on that is you want to put it in like so and get be sure you got it fretted and this one you do want to tighten down and this will be sure that the cabinet is pushed up flush against the uh, chrome facing of the radio and 
before you tighten the side screws. Otherwise, if you tighten these side screws first, then uh, you know this this may not be all the way back, and it's it it's just good pro it's just good uh, practice to do it this way. So we'll go ahead and run this one in, and uh, this one don't have to be real tight. Run it in till it's till it stops here. Okay, it just stopped. We don't want to scratch up the screw. And then maybe a couple eighths of an inch turn. That's it. We'll put no more torque on it. You don't want to bend this. You don't you want the factory look. You don't want to put over torque where you see little bends in this where it was over tight and stuff. That's no good. That's not the right way to do it. You don't want uh, you know to bounce and beat up a new radio like that. So at least I don't. I don't know about you. You know, so okay now we can uh, move to these side ones and these I, I don't want to but you have to tighten a little tighter than normal okay it's snug now go a little bit more and pressing down on this at the same time where it don't go nowhere go a little bit more till it till it stops and then just just a just a gun just there you go just like that and you can see you can tell a little bit of indentation there and I don't like to do that but it's not damaging but it is tight and it has to be otherwise this is going to pop up over time and believe me it will it really will and this is a possibility it could be unique to my radio but one way or another it will so now you want to spin it over and let's do the other side and we'll push it down the screws already threaded kind of get this in view we'll push it down the screws already threaded we'll run it down and it's tightened and a little more kind of set there you get the feel for it where you don't strip strip it and one more till it'll start to turn again one more till it stops and then just a little push like that okay that's good on that now these here the rear ones all you got to do you don't have to put that kind of torque on them run them in okay it stopped just a little more that's it right there that's all you have to put on those okay we'll do another one we'll do the last one here same thing on this one cautionly run it in it tightens just a little more that's it right there you don't have to put any more torque on those at all just enough torque that if the radio is moved around or in a mobile application or something these don't loosen and fall out that's all you got to worry about okay that's pretty much the conversion uh, from 10 meter radio to a CB radio for the uh, Radidity uh, QT40 and these this is really a nice little radio and uh, one of the better things I've been able to own so uh, anyway I hope that helps somebody out and I know that uh, there is a uh, lot of these videos on the conversion on here so maybe this one will have something that it don't while I've got it uh, here this is your uh, let me see which one this one is this is your external speaker and this is your PA speaker this is your computer interface this does have software and you can do a lot of programming and a lot of changing on the options on the radio and of course this is standard everybody recognizes this this is your 12 volt powers power supply and these if you run them inside have to have a good at least a 30 watt power supply uh, to do it justice and stuff so uh, I don't think then of course this is the heat sink but I don't think there's anything else on here that I can really show you that you don't already know if you're into radios and stuff so okay uh, that's it and that's the conversion to CB for the Redidity QT40 10 meter radio and thank you for watching catch you in the next one bye